Hello and welcome back to the first day of class tutorial for UC Berkeley Summer Sessions Online. My name is Tracy Allen Littlejohn and I'm the program coordinator for your upcoming online course. On the day your class opens, there are two vital steps to take to access your course content and to be able to participate in the course discussions. First and most importantly, for each course in which you are enrolled, you must complete the Academic Integrity Agreement. By accepting the terms of the agreement, you will gain access to the course materials. Once you log in, you will find the Academic Integrity Agreement by going to the tab on the top of the page called Modules. Click on it. You'll see the option Start Here, Course Information and Support. Click on here. Now you'll see something that says, read this. Click on there. Familiarize yourself with the Academic Integrity Guidelines and Regulations. After you have read it, click on Next on the far right side of the page. This screen will pop up and you will click on OK to agree to the Academic Integrity Guidelines and Regulations. If you find that when you click on the module and get an error message like this one, that means you did not click on Agree to this for the Academic Integrity Agreement. In that case, you'll want to go back to the Start Here and do it. The next step in preparing for your course is to choose a team. Every class has teams and in order to participate in the required discussion forums, you have to be in one. To do this, go to the course homepage. Then you will find a box titled Student Team Picker. When choosing a team, try to keep the number of students close to even with the other teams. So to review, log in, read and sign the Academic Integrity Agreement, and choose a team for the course. And remember, if you don't click on Agree to This for the Academic Integrity Agreement, you will not be able to see the module content. Now that you have access to your course, I'd like to help navigate you through some important components in your online classroom. In order to find them, you will want to log in to your online classroom. To do that, you can go to elearning.berkeley.edu. Remember to ignore the login box for extension students and look for CalNet Login for Summer Session students. Once you are logged in, click on the course you're enrolled in and it will take you to the course homepage. The syllabus is listed on the left side of the page. Click on it and you will see the main points of the course outlined. A printer-friendly version is also available. Along with your syllabus, you will want to keep track of the due dates for your assignments. This is located in the course schedule. You can locate this in the Modules tab on the top of the page, or list it on the left side of the page under the syllabus. Click on it. You will see the course schedule listed as the second item on the list. In the course schedule, you will find the theme for the week, lectures, readings, homework, discussion post assignments, and exam dates. Now that you have your syllabus and course schedule, you're now ready to begin your course. Do this by simply going through the modules. In the Modules tab, you'll see all the modules listed. A module is a group of topics related to one area of study, typically with readings, lectures, and various kinds of assignments. Refer to your course schedule to see when you'll be working on each module. Now that you are prepared for your online course, it's helpful to know who to go to when you need help and support. Learn more by reviewing the Getting Help and Support tutorial.